Hi, this is David with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to set up the conference phones. Within the business school, we have two conference phones. We have conference phone 1, which is in the blue bag, and we have conference phone 2, which is in the pink bag. If you wish to book these conference phones, you can do so through your Outlook calendar, and there's another tutorial on how to do this. If you have a larger group, you should book conference phone 2, which is in the pink bag. Uh, this is because it has two extra microphones which gives you wider coverage. So now let's get on and look at how to set up the conference phone. So generally the phone is fairly straightforward to use and all, all the bits are connected up when you take it straight out the bag. However, sometimes some cables are disconnected. So I'm going to go through what these cables are so that you know how to connect them up. First of all, we have the power supply. This supplies the power to the phone. Secondly, we've got the Ethernet extension cable. This is a very long cable and lets you place the phone uh, anywhere on the table. Thirdly, we've got the phone itself, integral to conference phoning. And last but not least, you've got the PoE injector cable. This is a very important cable. What this does is it takes the power from the power supply and injects it into the Ethernet cable which allows you to have the conference phone running just off one cable. The other end of the PoE injector cable connects into an Ethernet port. So I'm going to show you how to plug everything up on this conference phone. We're going to start um, with the phone and this is the back of the phone as you can see. Now you have two sockets here and here. These come into play with conference phone too. These sockets are for the microphone extensions. So you just plug them in here and here. Now the other thing you need to plug in is the ethernet cable. Now you've got the ethernet cable here. This is the big long cable that comes with the conference phone. If this is lying loose and both ends are unplugged, don't worry, it doesn't matter what end you plug into this phone. And also don't worry because this cable does not fit in to the microphone inputs. If you see up here, it's got a wee icon with three wee squares. And if we turn this over here, this is where you plug this cable in. So just plug the cable in here, just clips in. And then just to keep the cable neat, if you tuck it round and have it coming out the side. And there we go. That's how you connect up the phone end. Okay, so now what we have is the other end of the very long ethernet cable that was coming from the conference phone. This has to get plugged into the PoE injector cable. So here we've got the PoE injector cable. As you can see, you've got a plug on one end and you've got an ethernet socket on the other end. So the only way that this can go together is to take the big long ethernet cable plug and plug it into this socket. What I've seen a few times is people have actually just plugged this into itself. This is not going to work. So again, we plug the long cable into the socket and that leaves you with a short cable here. Now what happens with this cable is this plug gets put into an ethernet port. So any port under a table on the wall that you want to connect into. Now we've only got one piece left to do and that's to plug in the power. So here we've got the power cable. Um, power cable's got a plug on one end going through. This actually does come off um, and plugs in here and then at the other end you've got a small power connector. Now if you look in the PoE injector, you can actually see on this bit here, there's a hole here for it. So you plug this in like that. And then obviously the power gets plugged into the mains. And that's how you plug everything together. So that's us. We've plugged the phone into the Ethernet port and we've also plugged it into the power. The only thing to note is it does take a wee bit of time to start up. It's still warming up at the moment and will take a few minutes. 
Okay, so a minute or so has passed and it's saying welcome processing configuration and this may take a few seconds. You can see uh, the red lights have come on and the phone has just about booted up now. So that's the phone booted up now. The red lights that were here have now gone off. The screen's coming up with the phone number of the phone and also the time and date. And if you hit the phone icon button, you get a dial tone. And also, as you can see, the lights have gone green. You can now either dial a point to point call or you can use the conference phone number and pin to have a multi call. And that's it. Easy peasy, no problem. That's how to set up the conference phone. Thanks for watching.